Welcome to this video. In this video, I would like to show and explain to you how you can call a SAP Fiori app out of SAP GUI. So enjoy this video and let's get started. So one way how you can call an SAP Fiori app out of SAP GUI is to work with the SAP Fiori Launchpad and here we are in the SAP GUI and therefore you can simply type in the transaction code slash UI2 slash FLP. And because uh, we have this slash at the beginning, we need to put the prefix slash n up front because other way it would not be working. So then hit the enter key. And then here uh, within your browser directly, the SAP Fiori launchpad will open up. And here you can click on the tile and then your appropriate SAP Fiori app will be started and they can work with it um, you can also rearrange the order of your tiles i've made an own video and will link the video if you would like to get to know more about this step but as you can yeah see here right now you have to do a little workaround so you have to start as a Fury launch pad then search for your app for your tile and then open it up um, yeah there is a way how you can call it directly but before showing you is this, I would like to jump once again back to uh, the SAP GUI and open up the SE93 transaction because I would like to show you um, the call transaction slash UA2 slash FLP. If I click on display, here we can see that basically the start report will be or the transaction start report will be opened up with this report so slash ui2 slash start underscore url and this is basically what i would like to open up in the se38 with you because here if we execute this with the f8 key then you can see that here by default because um if we have a look with the variance then you can see that the SAP and FLP variant has been called um, to call the SAP for your launchpad. There are other variants um, by default available, um, but here once again f8 here the sap for your launchpad will be opened up if you would like to call for example the sap uh, fiori launchpad designer so the cross client or the current client then you have also the possibility to to use the slash ui2 slash start underscore url report to do this or for example the sap fiori launchpad application or the sap fiori business app with the corresponding trend section code um, yeah there you have uh, or as before space design is also possible of course so here this is one way how we can call directly those sap fury apps but what should you do if you for example would like to call one um, yeah, yeah one custom sap fury app or another SAP Fury app not available in these options. And to do this, you have to develop a, an ABBA program and then you can, for example, link it in a, in a transaction if you want to. And to do this, first of all, you have to go once again into the SAP Fiori Launchpad. And then, first of all, you have to call your application because we need the semantic object and, for example, one action to be um, able to call your SAP Fiori app appropriately and with to get the id of your app basically you go into the me area and then you go to about and here you get the detailed information about your app so for example here this is the application id f4700 and this is basically what we need um, for example you can also copy the technical component id this is also perfectly fine if you want to but here i copy the app id okay 
And now what we're going to do is um, we would like to open up the application manager for the SAP Fury Launchpad. And once again, if you might have already seen within the slash UI2 slash start underscore URL, within here you have already the SAP Fury Launchpad designer and what we need is the SAP Fury Launchpad application manager. So there is, uh, we execute this. Yeah, this is perfectly fine. We click on allow. And then within your browser, the SAP Fuel Launchpad Application Manager will start. And then you go to tiles. Then within here, you paste in your app ID, hit the enter key, and then select the entry. Ignore these messages. But here basically we have the semantic object that we need and the action. So this is once again use control C to copy it because that is basically what we need. By the way, there are also other possibilities to call the SAP Fury Launchpad application manager, of course, uh, with the corresponding tile, with the corresponding app in the SAP Fury Launchpad. Or if we go in the SAP GUI once again, and then you can call the transaction uh, slash UI to slash FLPAM. Then basically, if you uh, execute this, then within the browser, um, also within SAP Fury, the application manager will be called. And what are we gonna do? So basically, uh, we we create an ABAP program and therefore we use a, an ABAP class and this is CL underscore LSAPI underscore manager. And within here, basically, we have um, the navigate to, to intent method. And if you would like to, you can also create an IBN URL if you want to. But we use the method navigate to intent to use the intent based navigation to directly call our SAP Fury app out of the SAP GUI. And therefore, I have prepared an other program that you also can copy it and you can use. And therefore, I open up the SE38 transaction code. And within here, I have created a program and it's called set call SAP. Fury app and if I go to display here you have basically uh, the, the code that I'm going to use and uh, basically that is the important part because as mentioned I'm using the class CL underscore LS API underscore manager and the method navigate to intent and here basically we need as the semantic object our semantic object and we need our action as string as literals and you can also paste in some parameters and the navigation mode in this case I'm using in place. Here you have to keep in mind that you have to use uh, this specific type to use the parameters and then I'm for example just um, like to use the company code 1710. If you would like to know what kind of parameters you can use we go once again back into our SAP Fuel Launchpad application manager and here we have also the parameters tab. And here you see what are the available parameters. So company code, GL account, cost center, and so on. And these parameters can be used within the coding. So once again, into our ABAP editor. And here I'm using uh, with the name, the, na the show name, and within the value, the value that you'd like to use while calling your SAP Fury app and yeah that's basically all if i for example hit the f8 key uh, i click on allow and then basically within your browser there you can see that the app has been called with the parameter and um, that's basically yeah how you can easily call an SAP Fiori app. If you want to, as mentioned, here we have our report. We can also call the SE93 transaction. So for example, set call um, Fiori, whatever. Um, click on create, call SAP Fiori app. And then you have to go to um, 
program and selection stream so report transaction and then here within the program um, with the GUI support you can select those this is perfectly fine so here uh, I would like to link it to a local object and then I'd like to test this yep so then once again I've created the transaction go once again into the SE93 so basically instead of calling uh, your program you can also open up the SA38 and here call your program you can also call directly or enter the transaction code um, within the um, OK code field here to to call it and these are kind of like really easy options how you can do this and yeah i've shown you um with a little workaround a tip how you can call directly in sap fiori app you can also by the way um add this transaction as a favorite to call it out of the start menu there are a lot of possibilities you can do but basically the core part is the, the, the shown report once again here this code is basically the most important one and yeah if you have any questions left please put them in the comment section please like this video and please subscribe to not miss great upcoming videos thank you so much and then see you in the next video